Okay, so let me present to you the, the Max MSP tool I've built for gesture and sight recognition. So here we're going to test it with some sound painting gestures. So about the interface that you see here, you can see that, so I've got Max MSP running here with my patch. And then I have a little electron uh, window that is from the PoseNet input that I've set up here. And I've got Wikinator here with some OIC um, inputs from Max MSP that acts as one of my classifier from for the science. So um, this is my patch and we're going to go through it and we're going to test uh, how it performs at recognizing some gestures. Uh, we've shared my sister who's going to train the classifier with uh, some sound painting signs. Here we got some input selector and here we're just gonna leave it to the PoseNet normalized uh, inputs. Uh, later there are gonna be some Kinect or gloves or whatsoever inputs. You can notice already that I'm using the, the webcam um, video input for PoseNet and my webcam is not really a good quality so uh, of course, performance could be improved in many ways uh, if we use like a, a, a greater camera and also a computer with much higher performance in terms of GPU so that we can run uh, better models. So uh, first in sign using the PoseNet input, we got to select uh, which feature we want to uh, use for the classifier. We want to give as input to the classifier and here we will use the elbows and wrists that are detected from the PoseNet skeleton model. Uh, then we uh, must define some signs that we want to classify and here we only have six of them in the dictionary and one which is the no neutral sign that is not uh, here shown in this dictionary but that is added later in the program. And here is my automated uh, training machine and you're going to see that it records some data in this buffer uh, which is then used in this uh, hier uh, hierarchical hidden markup models or uh, the Wikinator dynamic time warping classifier that we're going to use here since you're going to see that it has much better performance. And then later we're going to see how can all this be used inside uh, an automata that I've designed here for sound painting. Um, and this uh, really allows for um, building a machine that knows in which state we are and running, um, commanding basically the machine with some kind of requests that are part of regular languages. So let's just go through it. Um, let's just from record some some uh, signs first.
Okay, so now that the training is done, we can actually run um, the classifiers. So let's use both of them at the same time first. So I'm training the hierarchical hidden Markov model and then running it. And now I'm also running the Wikinator model. And let's see how it does. Okay, fine. So we can see how the different signs are being recognized by both classifiers. And you can see that sometimes, uh, most of the time actually, the dynamic time warping classifier performs better than the hierarchical hidden Markov model. That's because of the model itself, of course. And um, one thing is that we see sometimes that some outputs of the models are actually not correct. So they are, they are like false positives. And we have access actually to some confident threshold for each of the models. And this is something I will implement later, but uh, I will have to threshold um, the, the output of the classifier depending on the confidence we have in this sign actually uh, being recognized. Okay, so what do we do with this output? So again, we have this automata here and you can see that it starts with some state that is the empty state and each time uh, at each state we can go to another state or stay at the same state depending on which category of sign is actually uh, been performed. So you can see here that we have for each sign we have a different category and this is these categories that uh, allows for uh, the automaton to, to run. So for instance if we are in the empty request um, mode and then we uh, do some long tone then we get to the watch uh, request and then uh, if it detects like uh, that we're being neutral or we do uh, some sign of the when category, then it will empty the request and return to the empty state. So here we can see that the automata is not really working well because we're detecting too many false positives. Um, so we should increase the thresholds um, for the detection of the signs outside the classifier. It means that we, we should increase uh, the threshold at which we, we think the confidence is high enough so that we can actually say, oh, this sign has been performed. But anyway, so this is uh, where um, I am now. And uh, later we will have here some new inputs such as the Kinect or also motion capture gloves that will allow to, to capture actually more of the fingers and uh, we will have, hopefully, um, uh, pos the possibility to combine this model and to achieve some kind of consensus so that we can improve the quality of the recognition uh, in each case.